So uh, I'm, we're actually a family practice in more ways than one because uh, my mom and my brother are also dentists. So not only do we see families, we are a family. Uh, so I kind of grew up in a dental clinic. My mom's clinic is in Farmington Hills, Michigan. And um, so we kind of split up our work between the three of us. And so I obviously kind of veer towards the surgical side. That's where my passion is. Actually, when I first started in dentistry, like taking it seriously and knew that this is what I wanted to do as my career, Full Arches was where I wanted to end up. So this is kind of the culmination of uh, everything for me. And as far as where our office is, we're located in an area that has, you know, uh, a pretty good amount of need for this. Uh, our population is a little bit older than the rest of California. We're in Sherman Oaks, uh, so we're in the valley. So uh, we've got a lot of families, multi-generations living in, you know, the same city. So uh, yeah, it's definitely a service that we wanted to offer. Uh, actually, at another course that I went to, uh, I went to a different implant course and we were talking about kind of the prosthetic component that was more of the surgical component and uh, I, uh, I forget the doctor's name but he, uh, Dr. Van Tassel in Dallas, he told me that uh, he had come to this course and it must have just started uh, and he was showing me all of the videos and his whole setup and I was like that's definitely the direction that I want to head into and uh, then it took me a year to get here but I got here. Um, I knew that a lot of my workflow in uh, my practice now is digital in terms of same-day crowns, prime scan, um, and all of that, uh, and uh, even with Itero and Invisalign. And so I knew that there was a digital workflow out there, uh, but I didn't know where to even start, and it seemed like there was kind of a ironed out concrete plan here, and uh, I just had to have it spelled out for me <laughs> and I think that's what I was hoping for and that's that's what I got. Uh, I brought my office manager and my assistant, my main assistant for surgeries, yeah. I think it was overall very positive. Like I, I mentioned, I've, I've done another course, I've done quite a few of these longer term courses and this was the most uh, structured and the most, uh, I'll say, positive environment that we've been in and it definitely adds something to the course for you to feel relaxed and kind of welcomed. Uh, it definitely feels like a family here. You guys have all known each other for a really long time. And when you come in, you feel like, okay, you're being adopted right away, which is nice. Uh, yeah, they did a great job. Uh, you know, I actually asked Dr. Dunlop, like, how does he hire people? Because everybody seemed to be, uh, you know, great at their job and willing to go above and beyond in terms of, you know, just being personable to making sure that you in particular are comfortable. Uh, everybody, I mean, you have, uh, a name tag obviously, but everybody calls you by your name and, and little things like that. You don't feel like a visitor. Um, you know, they mention a lot of like compassion and empathy and I think at the end of the day in dentistry this is one of the most life-changing things you can do for a patient. And a lot of the times the patients that need these treatments are the ones who can't afford it or the ones who will struggle to afford it. And what I've kind of seen throughout is uh, case presentations is that he shows compassion and empathy to any of these patients and is willing to help who he can. So at the end of the day, that's what we're doing. We're enhancing our ability to help people. And that's something that makes me fulfill, feel fulfilled in my job. And uh, it's something that I feel was really uh, emphasized and imparted in, the, in this course. I'd say very important. Uh, in the beginning, you know, I had to do a little convincing, but uh, I got them here because uh, when I spoke to Dr. Dunlop before, which I was surprised that he directly spoke to me before, but uh, he was mentioning that, you know, they do have curriculum for all of your team members. And for me, this is something I, especially this digital workflow is something I'm just getting started in. So I knew that I wanted to have something kind of uh, tightly regulated that I could, uh, you know, present to patients and have them know that I would be able to support them throughout the, uh, their whole journey with this. And part of being able to support them is having a team that can be able to support them. So I wanted my team to know what was going on with each, with each step of the procedure so that they would know how, how to support the patients uh, throughout, the uh, throughout the whole process as well. Uh, and even in terms of, you know, the denture characterization and the entire lab process, I know that's something that my assistants are going to be helping out with a lot. Uh, so I wanted to be able to go through that with them. So, you know, if there's something they're better at than I am or I'm better at than they are, we can kind of play off each other and, and learn together and have each other's backs in that way. I think it was great. Uh, I think as far as the live patient being able to see everything go in sequence, 
Uh, at this point, I feel like if you're coming to this course, you're comfortable with implants and that surgery, uh, that surgical portion is no longer overwhelming or anything. Uh, it's just capturing the records digitally, which is obviously the most unique part uh, of this course. And so seeing how it, it can seem daunting if you're just hearing about it or if you're seeing slides or whatever it is, but seeing it happen kind of simplifies the process uh, and being able to ask questions as he's doing things. The patients are comfortable with it. You don't feel like you're intruding. He's very open to fielding questions <laughs> mid-operation. Um, I think it was great to just see it from A to Z and uh, be able to interact throughout the entire process. I think you should do it. I think if you know you want to do full arches, this is the most concise way to do it, the most accurate way to do it. Um, you know, you can tell the whole team has put a lot into figuring out uh, how to provide this service to people uh, in every aspect and, and covering every base of what that means. Uh, and it's something that you can constantly get supported through. I mean, there are group chats and you know, the Facebook group and whatever it is, there are multiple people kind of going through this at the same time. So everybody learning together, in addition to having, you know, the authority with Dr. Dunlop, I think it's, uh, I think it's a great way to, to get this education and uh, get this service to be a part of your practice. Um, not really. I mean, yeah, I guess that that's the main point that I wanted to drive home is that uh, I've done a bunch of these things. I've hoped that they would all be something similar to this, and this has been, you know, probably you know the best experience I've had at a at a CE course. So, you know, I'm really happy with it. I definitely am.